mini CB rounds. 22 CB rounds, mini. Antique 22 fold and trigger bulldog. Okay, that's going to be the first round. In the second round, I'm going to use a roofing blank. This is when you shoot the nails in the, to do roofs, uh, roof work. These are blanks. Actually, I can't use the blank. The head is too big. So, Oh, actually, I got it in. All right, great, I got it in. All right, so we've got two rounds. Alright. Uh, okay, now. I am a little bit scared shooting this. Because this thing is old. So, I'm going to put a heavy duty glove on. Just in case if it blows, I don't blow my hand off. I've seen many, uh,. Issues with people blowing their hands off. Alright. Uh, actually, what I might do also. I'm prepared. I also brought this. This is one of my backpacks I got. And in his backpack, I have a... plate okay this plate supposed to handle uh, the threat is up to uh, 2780 feet per second uh, bull rounds All right so this should be able to handle uh, uh, rifle uh, uh, bullets up to that degree so just to be safe Put this in here also. I'm gonna put this on me like this just to be safe. Right? Okay. Let me be safe than sorry. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Okay. It is ready. I can get a good angle here. Yeah. Mm. Pretty loud for a 22. <laughs> All right, that was the CB round. It handled awesome. By the way, I tried using real rounds, and they didn't work. And I tried using uh, uh, what rounds? Uh, Twenty grain rounds. Uh, that's uh, low powered twenty uh, twos, and uh, the it won't fit in. The bullets won't fit in. That's how small this is, as you can see. See, and it's kind of cool. See the trigger folds. All right, this is antique. All right, so technically, you do not need a license for this. All right, so that was the first round. Now we're going to try the next one. Okay, here we go. Wow. It's even louder. It's even louder. All right, so it handled both of them awesome. All right, so this is a... Uh, fold and trigger, uh, bulldog, uh, probably 1860, 1870, or 1880. This thing was made, so it doesn't re doesn't require a uh, a gun license, which uh, our public scanner scammers do have a delusional belief that you do need a gun license. But according to the Second Amendment, which is constitutional law, you do not need one. See, it contradicts what the law says on the land, contradicts uh, maritime law. Alright, so now we're going to put this away now. 
I cleaned this two times already since I've owned it. This is actually the first time I'm shooting this. Right, now, now we're gonna step things up. All right, I've shot a lot of 22s in my life. I'm gonna step things up now. Now this is a high powered. Forty-four revolver. It's a British Bulldog. I don't know if you can see it. See it, British Bulldog. Uh, let's see if I can do it. See, British Bulldog. All right. It's very hard to get these ammo. These bullets are very extremely hard to get. And you get them, they're expensive. Let's see. All right. See, I'm gonna see if I can find okay. Okay. Now the guy I got this from said it's okay to shoot with the proper load. By the way, I tried putting a real uh uh up uh modern 42 uh 44 uh uh special into this and it actually jammed the whole entire barrel up and i had actually a hard time getting it out all right so see this is what it looks like it's a 44 special all right and also you can use the webleys the webleys are the the stronger rounds that has more of a recoil so since it had more of a recoil coil what they did is that they made a shorter version so right now we're testing these out with the shorter versions I have a few of the the Webleys also but that's uh, gonna be a special time to use that it's uh, probably I'll probably use something like that if uh, a bear or a wildebeest uh, attempts to challenge me all right so we're gonna shoot two rounds All right, these are really expensive rounds these, these are antique uh, bullets also so I got two of these and we're gonna shoot and right, we're gonna have we're gonna shoot two of these babies okay what I just gotta do is I got to uh, I gotta take I gotta put two of these uh, one after another because I have uh, I have a uh, special modern uh, 44 made for this also as you can see you see 44 Smith and Wesson shorts they're special for this so I'm gonna do two original ones because that's originally what it was made for Actually, what I'm gonna do? Let me take out. Let me take out my uh, modern ones that I have in here, the special modern ones. So we definitely know we have the originals. All right. All right. So here we go now. I'm gonna put these in here for now so we don't mix mix them up right. now i'm sure this is going to be really loud and a lot powerful all right it's the 44 special bulldog antique all right you don't need a license for this either however i would do recommend with any gun never put your hand on the trigger until you're ready to destroy your target. That's the uh, first rule you always need to know about any kind of gun, you know, and practice that, you know, with uh, any kind of gun, BB gun, water gun, uh, paintball gun, real guns, uh, all your AKs, you know, you can practice that with that. Uh, 
and another thing also with the revolver uh, uh, when you shoot it also you have to make sure that you don't keep your hand near the the openings because uh, the the muzzle blast can actually uh, destroy your your finger also so when you're ready to shoot so this is actually the first time I'm shooting this baby and uh, the last uh, high power pistol that I've shot actually when I was like 13 years old with my uncle it was a 40 uh, 45 caliber uh, uh, handgun and it was really nice but uh, after I shot it uh, like three times uh, that whole entire few days my whole entire arm was in pain and so this is the first time I'm actually shooting a 44 special All right, I've shot uh, you see the first handgun I had I had uh, a 32 Smith & Wesson vintage uh, I had a 25 uh, semi-automatic uh, then I had uh, rifles, 22 rifles. I had a bunch of those. Uh, what else did I have? Uh, I had a bunch of BB guns, paintball guns. All right, and uh, so we're gonna test this baby out right now. So here we go. All right. Let's see, I'm still recording. All right. You shoot right now. I'm going to shoot it in single action mode. All right, single action means with the trigger, I'm just using the, the hammer to shoot. I'm not using the trigger. I'm using the hammer, then I'm going to use the trigger. But I'm not using constant the trigger. If you use constant the trigger, that's uh, 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 double action. All right, here we go. Whoa, didn't shoot. It didn't shoot. I'm scared. Maybe it wasn't enough. I'm going to try it again. Oh, wow. It didn't shoot. What's going on here? I'm scared. It didn't shoot. We're trying it again. Wow, it didn't shoot. Wow, I'm very scared. Wow, didn't shoot. It's probably not enough power. Either that or the bullets are shot. I'm still gonna give it some time. Usually give it like 30 seconds. Because if it does shoot, it's uh, uh, the gunpowder is uh, could take time also. That still doesn't shoot. I don't know, I'm scared. I might have to try one of the modern bullets. I don't know if it's the bullet or the gun. Nope. I don't know, it could be the bullets. Just let me wait. 30 seconds, just in case, 30 seconds, because it could be a delayed reaction. Things that people have to study this. They have to study before they uh, play around, because if they don't know what they're doing, they can blow a finger off. Alright, and nothing's shooting. Nothing's shooting at all. All right. Let's give it a few more seconds. We'll count it. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30. All right, so it's not shooting. So, I don't know if it's the gun or the bullets, but maybe the hammer's not hitting it hard enough. Oh, it's probably the bullets. Probably the bullets, because the bullets have uh, indentation in it. However, it, they never went off. See? The indentation. All right. All right, so let me take these bullets out. So technically, after so long, the bullets die, it looks like. See, this has an indentation also. I don't know if you can see it. two of them so now we know that the originals are duds there's another original it's a dud all right so we know the originals are duds all right so it had three originals in there they're duds What it could be too is uh, the primer could be uh, the primer itself could be shot. And so we know that they're duds. But I want to shoot this baby off bad, so let's see if I can find my uh, other one that I just put in here. Here we go. All right, this is a modern special one made for this. It's 44 Smith and Wesson. It's a modern one, specially for this. So we're gonna try one of these babies out. And I cleaned this gun like since I've owned it, I've cleaned it like four times already. This is the first time I'm shooting it. So let me line it up. I think it could be here now, so the next one could be it. All right, here we go. Maybe it's just not enough power with the hammer. We'll find out right now. Wow. Yep, it's the gun. The gun is pretty good. The gun works. Just the antique bullets don't work. That's pretty loud, too powerful wow you can see it's even smoking a little bit pretty nice pretty cool pretty cool all right so that's it for tonight this is my own firework okay i guess these antiques aren't worth they're probably good for looks, but they don't shoot. But I might try to sell these or cool. I'll see what I'm gonna do with them, I don't know. I'll throw them in my uh, bullet pile. I throw them in my bullet pile. That's where they're gonna go. Okay. Dang, and today I was rocking my eye uh, uh, pack shirt. That's what I was rocking today. I was working on a roof today. And uh, most of the time I do carry concealed. Uh, as it is constitutional law. Uh, 
Once in a while I don't, because, you know, I can handle myself probably even without a gun. Uh, there's all kinds of weapons out there. Uh, let me see if I have it. I'm going to show you one thing that I recommend. This is called the Spike. This is another pretty cool little weapon. Actually, this can go right through a metal detector. It's fiberglass. And uh, you can basically kill somebody with this. It's actually... Uh, uh, original ones were military. And uh, they made, they made uh, fiberglass ones... Uh, for uh, citizens that uh, don't want to carry a handgun or whatever. But that's another neat little thing for your bag of tricks. So, you know, an individual doesn't really need a handgun to protect themselves. You know, they can use anything. You know, they can use a screwdriver, stab somebody in the eye, you know, your enemy, of course. You know, you don't want to stab... Uh, you know, somebody that's uh, good, you know. And as we all have brothers and sisters in the world. Uh, we all got brothers and sisters. But uh, some brothers are good and some are bad. You know, uh, the thing is that some uh, brothers, uh, what they do, they, they, they their uh, spiritual father is the devil. And the devil is uh, the father of all lies. And since uh, they want to follow their father, which is their spiritual father... You know, they're going to be a liar too. You know, and then uh, uh, the good people, you know, they know the difference between right and wrong. They're not going to lie. And, uh, of course, they're not going to lie, so they're the good people. You know, and they're going to follow their spiritual father, which is our heavenly father. Right, and, uh, you know, that's the spiritual fathers. You know, we have uh, the heavenly father and you got the devil. And, uh, you know, then we have our earthly fathers. And then uh, some people, on top of their earthly fathers, they have stepfathers. You know, the same thing goes with uh, stepmoms, real moms. You know, same thing goes with that. Uh, all right, so peace out. And uh, have a good night. All right, and happy 4th, everybody. All right, bye.